with right-sided heart failure, the right side of the heart is inefficiently pumping blood to the lungs. There are several reasons why this can happen, but the overall cause is that there is an inappropriate load or pressure which is applied onto the right ventricle, or the muscle cells or the myocytes of the right ventricle lose their contractibility. Specific reasons to why right-sided heart failure occurs can actually be due to left-sided heart failure as well. So if there's some kind of problem with the left ventricles and they're not pumping blood to the rest of the body properly, then there's a backlog of blood for the right ventricle because remember the blood is going from the right ventricle into the pulmonary circulation and then back into the left side of the heart. So if the left side of the heart isn't pumping blood efficiently to the rest of the body, there is a backlog of blood. So there's more pressure on the right side of the heart. And this is known as increasing the afterload for the right ventricle. Another way that you can have this increased afterload for the right ventricle is if there's some abnormality with the pulmonary arteries or capillaries. This also causes an increased afterload for the right ventricle. Things like congenital shunts can cause pulmonary artery constriction, which increases the afterload for the right ventricle. So we have an abnormal pressure which is applied onto the right ventricle, leading to right-sided heart failure. And another cause can be pulmonary diseases as a whole. 